On the 28th of February 2017, shortly after the official opening of the Peace Corps office in Abuja, the Nigerian police and other security agencies invaded the premises of the organization and arrested 49 persons, including the commandant of the organization, Mr. Dixon Akko, who were subsequently paraded and charged to court. However, after 10 months of legal battle, the Peace Corps of Nigeria has won the right to regain its premises, which was sealed by the police, while the commandant of the organization and 49 other officials who were arrested have been awarded compensation. In a judgment that lasted for two hours, Justice Gabriel Kolawale, who agreed that the police and other security agencies have statutory powers to make arrests and detention, however held that such powers must be exercised with decency, decorum, and in compliance with relevant laws that protect the fundamental rights of all Nigerians. But in the instant case, Justice Kolawale held that the police failed to establish that the Peace Corps officials have committed any crime when they swooped on them and arrested 49 of them and also sealed their premises. Justice Kolawali therefore ordered the police to pay the sum of 12.5 million naira to the members of Peace Corps for unlawfully detaining its officials so as to assuage the harassment and intimidation suffered during the arrest. He also ordered the Peace Corps House, which was sealed since February 28, 2017, to be opened immediately and that no attempt must be made to frustrate officials of the organization from assessing the building. I hope that the Nigerian police will respect this judgment, you know, so that we can continue to have one peaceful Nigeria. Because if they continue to exercise, you know, uh, perpetrate their illegality and lawlessness, that will affect, you know, Nigeria as one uh, common nation. The incorporated trustees of the Peace Corps had in March 2017 instituted a 2 billion naira suit against the Nigerian police for invading its headquarters in Abuja. Amaka Okafo, Channels Television News.